I'm the Dog Joker and I'm here to review Kekyo Hitman Reborn. Reborn is a 203 episode battle shonen, which you've probably heard about mainly a few years ago when it was expected to become the next big thing. And while well, it did become rather big, it just didn't become THE big thing. We're still waiting for that. The story is about Suna, who is pretty much your definition of a loser, who is visited one day by a walking, talking baby assassin. And no, I'm not drunk. Who informs him that due to some probably unconfirmed family tree, he is to become the boss of the Vangola family, which is the biggest mafia family in Italy and no, not the godfather kind of mafia. Because if you know anything about battle children, then you'll probably realize that mafia is just a fancy nickname for super powered planet busting teenage bodybuilders. And the story is mainly about Rubon training Suna to be a mafia boss in some pretty unorthodox ways and Suno wanted nothing to do about it. Now the main problem of the series is the beginning. Because the series born has a pretty large cast of characters and the first arc was dedicated mainly to introducing these characters. Which led to a pretty large amount of chapters and episodes being mainly exposition and comedy. To be precise, 20 episodes of 60 chapters. Though some of these episodes are pretty skippable which I'll give a list of at the end of the video. The story mainly begins to get interesting after the 20th episode, which mainly follows Luna and his group of well-dressed mafia supermodels fighting other well-dressed mafia badasses. Now, the thing with the anime is that it doesn't completely adapt the manga, as there are a few volumes that haven't been adapted yet. Well, unless you're planning to buy them, then a lot of volumes, which I'll also give a list of at the end of the video. Though it did end on a pretty good note. As in, even though it ended before the manga, unless you're a manga reader, it won't necessarily feel unsatisfying or incomplete. There are also two filler arcs, though I advise against skipping them, as they make for character development or some characters and also are part of the main storyline of the anime. Now for the characters. Like I said before, Reborn has a pretty big chunk of characters. The fact of the matter is, the characters of Reborn can be both a strong point or a weak point, depending on the kind of person you yourself are. Cause while they come in different varieties and are very entertaining to watch, they really lack much depth and some of them may just be considered stereotypes. Goku there is the only member of the cast that I remember having any depth in. Same thing goes for the villains. Some of them have backstories and that's pretty much it. Lungs as being the only one you can, you, you can really view as a character. Though as villains they do their jobs pretty well. And you do see the characters develop over time. Now the main cast consists of who I said before is pretty much the biggest loser in the world. Though as the series progresses he, you see him develop. And he's pretty badass when he does a super shana transformation. Reborn, a baby who is also Suna Suna's tutor. Who probably cosplays more than any otaku out there. Trust me, he has a costume for pretty much every episode that doesn't involve a fight, and even some that do. Yamamoto is a carefree baseballer slash swordsman who takes the word oblivious to stupidly insane new levels. Gokudera is Suna's overly loyal, hot-headed, self-proclaimed right-hand dude. Ibari is the main badass of the show, who has qualities of the worst possible neighbor you could hope for. Lambo is a five-year-old bazooka wielding grenade launching baby, who can range from hilarious to obnoxious depending on your taste. Ryohei is our hyperactive leader of a quote-unquote boxing club, even though he's the only member, and also the big bird Suna's love interest. And another one I can't talk about due to spoilers. But this photo says most of it. About the art and animation, the original manga car was a woman, so you can pretty much expect the dude to still collect smoking hot supermodels. Though the art in the anime was pretty bland and would look weird in certain places, the animation is good for the most part, especially during the action scenes. Though you'll realize it's a bit too kid friendly, as the characters don't even bleed to the extent that it sometimes looks ridiculous. The soundtrack was also really good, especially the character themes. And if you prefer to watch anime in dub, then you're not in luck, because there still isn't a dub for Reborn. 
and I doubt there will be any time soon. Overall, Reborn is a pretty good battle shonen that I'd recommend to anyone who is a shonen fan. If you're looking for something with a deep story or complex storyline, then get out. You're in the wrong place. So that was it, people. My review for Hitman Reborn. I hope you enjoyed it. And by the way, did you realize that the dudes in this anime didn't find the fact that someone was glowing with with his forehead on fire strange, but rather the fact that he was in his underwear? I mean, seriously, which one would be more strange to you? And if you're into a walking, talking baby assassin on the way, run the fuck away. It's bad news. Oh.